Okay, so we're trying this again. We had some te technical difficulties, so I hope you guys are finding the new video link and joining us. So let me just close that real quick. minutes for people to come on. So as soon as I see people joining, we'll get going again. Oh, I think people are coming. Yay! Sorry guys. Um, I guess my Wi-Fi is not the best, so I'm going to go on my cell data, which is not the greatest either, but at least it doesn't cut out, cut out on me. So again, let's start fresh. Let's start new. Um, welcome to the virtual parties going on. Make sure you share this video because the other one stopped and didn't work. Hey, Jessica, thanks for coming back. Sorry about that. Um, so welcome everyone to Amanda's virtual party, to Melissa's, to Shannon. Um, to Lauren and Rebecca's virtual party. Um, thank you for coming back. We had some technical difficulties. So um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And we are making a recipe out of the new Seasons Best Cookbook. This is great. And this is great to add on anytime you order. Um, it's a $2 cookbook and it changes every six months. And it's got pictures. I love pictures. And it's always just some main dishes. So um, great add Okay, so um, great add-on, and we are making the chicken and I might have to repeat myself because my internet keeps going in and out. I'm sorry. Um, we're making the chicken and sweet potato. I know it's backwards. Potato pot thai, and this is how it's gonna. Look. I'm just gonna head and keep going in and out. So we'll see. All right, let me see if I can move this. Might not be the best view, but maybe my internet will be better. So hey, thanks for hanging in there. Is this better, guys? Welcome to the North Country. Our internet sucks. <laughs> so it looks like this is better. So this is what we're making, the sweet potato and chicken pot thai. So instead of having all the calories that you get for takeout, you can now make the healthy version at home. And it's in our new season's best cookbook. So um, let me see how I can... I'll just put it here so you guys can see me. So we're gonna start by cooking our chicken. And I have the chicken right here in a Ziploc bag and I just put a little bit of salt on it and we're gonna grill this on the grill pan right here in the background. So this is our single grill pan. This one is has quite a few years on it, but it's amazing. So we're just gonna heat it up um, on medium heat and get our chicken going. So especially in here where it's gonna snow soon or maybe you are in an area where it's either too hot or too cold to barbecue um, you know the grill pan comes in handy all year round so just want to make sure you preheat it for a couple minutes these are really thin breast tenderloins so there's really no need for that big press to go on it you can use the press of course I love the press it just helps it cook even faster um, but it's so thin and small that it'll literally take about three minutes to cook. So as soon as the grill pan is warmed up in about three minutes, we're going to throw the chicken on there and do that. And we are going to start by uh, spiralizing our sweet potatoes for our chicken pot thai. So I'll come a little closer so you guys can see me. Um, and you know, the regular pot thai has lots of calories. So this is actually all veggie dish and you can even omit uh, get rid of the chicken if you're a vegetarian and don't have to do that either. So it's a great way to get lots of veggies in. So guys, um, if you just joined us, make sure you let me know who invited you and why you're here. And um, we have a little angle, different angle today because my internet doesn't work over there apparently. So this seems to work, so I'm not touching it. <laughs> so um, yeah, make sure you share this so people can join us. So we'll start by spiralizing our... Um, Sweet potatoes, I already did one here and prepped that. Um, so we wanna make sure we peel one first and this is our serrated peeler. If you don't have that one yet, I call it the magic peeler or 
all-purpose peeler, whatever. I use it for anything. I have the regular vegetable peeler too, but this one is serrated and really helps grasp in the skin. Um, even if you've ever like tried to peel like a peach or a kiwi, like this is like the power peeler, all right? This is a great peeler, $10. If you need a good peeler, add it on right away. It's amazing. Gets everything out. All right, so I'm gonna peel that. And while you're cooking, I always recommend, I have mine right here, but have like a little garbage bowl so you don't have to run back and forth to the garbage and then you can dump it all out when you're done. All right. And then these are fun. These are a little, let me move that down a little. These are little handy dandy scrapers. And these are great for cleanup, for getting food, getting food in your pan. And I brought the pink one out because it's Help Up Cancer Month. So make sure you ask me about our special Help Up Cancer product to support um, the American Cancer Society. All right, so we're ready to spiralize our zucchini. And you see how easy that cut through? These knives are amazing. Um, we're just gonna cut it in half. And we're gonna use, we, I have the fettuccine blade in here in our spiralizer. Spiralizer, if you, let me know if you guys um, have spiralized veggies before. Shannon says, speak loud, please. Okay. Can you guys hear me good? All right, so I'll try and use my little teacher voice here. <laughs> so this is our spiralizer. If you've not spiralized veggies yet, you really need to try it. Um, it's got little teeth underneath, so it grips the food. And I already inserted the fettuccine size blade. There's a thinner blade if you spin it around, which is like spaghetti size thickness. And then um, if you don't put the blade in at all, it comes out right here, you can just spiral, okay? So you want to put your thicker base on top so your teeth can grip it. And you just press down and then you literally just start spinning. So I never know which side it's gonna come out off. Oh, there it is. All right. So it's super, super easy to use. My kids can use it. It's so, so easy. And you know, sweet potatoes are hard. So um, yeah, this works magic, magic, magic. So let me know if you've spiralized before and what you have spiralized. And what your favorite spiralized recipe is. All right, so this is half a sweet potato. Isn't this crazy? Look at how much you get out of it. Can I get some? Woo -woo! This is exciting. Okay, Shannon, it's better. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. And there is about a 30 second delay, so if I don't respond right away, that is why. So what would you guys spiral in this? And you can even do apples during season. You can do apples, spiral apples, and top them with some Greek yogurt and some caramel sauce. Yum, delicious. So again, all you do is you just sit it in here. It's got like, it's got like a little pointy thing that you stab your vegetable in, and the harder and firmer your veggie, the better. So if you do like a zucchini and it's super mushy, that's not gonna work. So it needs to be nice and firm. All right, I'll show you this side this time so you guys can see what's going on. And then it comes apart super, super easy for cleanup. You just remove the blade, the base, and then this part right here unscrews into two pieces, right? And then I'll show you the blade too. So the blade, you can just remove it by untwisting right here. And then the blade comes out right here. So I'll show you the two different thicknesses. So one's like a fettuccine size, and if you turn it around, it's like a spaghetti size. And if you do it, if you spiral without this, you will just get regular spirals, so thick spirals, all right? And all this, guess what? It's dishwasher safe. 
All right, so we're gonna throw our chicken in the grill pan. I might actually like this view. You guys get a closer look and I don't have to show my face. <laughs> All right, so we'll get some tongs out. These tongs are fabulous. These are the mini ones. We also have the big ones. Oh, here they are. It's a good thing I'm at home. I have everything. So big tongs, small tongs. And what's nice about them is they lock on the way up and they unlock on the way down. So they will never, you know, once you lock them, they will never just open up in your drawer and get stuck. So they're great, great for them. So let me know what guys, um, what some of your favorite products are, what some things you're interested in, because I am at my house, so um, I pretty much have 90% of the catalog. So if you do want me to show you anything, I can grab it out. So we're just gonna grill this chicken up and you should hear the sizzling sound. So I think you guys can see this, yep. Faster. All right, so we're just gonna let this grill up for a couple minutes and throw our sweet potatoes right in here. These are two sweet potatoes. That is it. Two sweet potatoes. Isn't that crazy? And what you want to do, you'll get some long strings, so you just want to kind of um, look at them and get some kitchen shears and just snip it so we don't have ginormous never-ending strings. So just kind of snip them up a little bit. This is also great, guys, to hide veggies in your kids' food. If you use the spaghetti blade and um, then chop it up like this, I mean, your kids won't even know. All right, so let's follow the recipe. Um, so we gotta grate some ginger for our pot thai sauce and I will tell you this is my first time making this recipe so perfect not pampered so I want to try this trick all right let me know if you've heard about this um, so ginger is a very weird vegetable to peel so I've learned or I've heard about this trick to use a spoon because the spoon really helps to get around all these um, nooks so we need just a little bit of Oh, look, it works like charm. Look at that. I always wonder how to peel this. And ginger is a great way to add extra flavor and no calories. Wow, this is amazing, guys. If you have learned anything tonight to peel your... Can I... Again, because, I don't know, maybe we're something. All right, I think we're back. What is wrong with my... This is not my... And see move my but I don't think it likes me today oh. listen can you hear me I'm back I'm here I'm sorry so um Again, if you if you miss it, use a spoon to peel your garlic. It's amazing and so, so easy. So, best trick I think I've learned in a long time. And it goes right around those knobs. So, we need to grate about one tablespoon. So, we'll use our microplane for that. And grate that up. Oops, let me cut off a little piece. So here you go, grating some ginger. And if you go to the store and you get that big piece of ginger, you don't have to buy that whole big piece. You can break a small piece off. All right, so we're gonna put that in our sauce. And let me give my favorite spatula. This is the baby spatula. I love it. It's the best. And we're going to do the whole sauce in the processor right here. And get all the ginger out. These spatulas are the bomb. You can cook with them. You can bake with them. You can leave them in your hot skillet and they don't burn. All right, so let me flip the chicken.
All right, guys, I'll show you some beautiful grill marks. Look at that, a couple minutes, and you got beautiful grilled chicken. Now, if you're new to the party, um, Pamper Chef's new consultant starter kit, one or two of them now include the grill pan and the rock crop. So, just a little tip if you're in the market for extra holiday income. All right, so we're gonna make our sauce. So we need half a cup of peanut butter. Now you can use peanut butter, um, cashew, smooth cashew, or almond butter, okay? So you don't need to use peanut butter if you don't want to. This is an oldie goodie. It does uh, liquids and solids. It's great for solids because it helps you push it all out. So we're going to measure half a cup. If you have this one, I think it's been around since the first catalog 36 years ago. And if you have this one, let me know. It's the best. All right. So half a cup goes right into a manual food processor. Are you ready? This is the best part ever. Allison has it. Yes, everyone needs one or more of this. So this is the best part is you can get it all out and squeeze it all out. All right. So then what we need is, let me see, uh, a quarter cup of water to put in here so we'll measure some liquid right on the other side a quarter cup of water we'll put that in here and then one tablespoon of fresh lime juice so I got a lime right here a little trick is roll it around for a little bit first to start releasing those juices and then we're going to use our wonderful citrus press. It's kind of like the garlic press, very sturdy. And make sure you don't put the cut side up because you're going to get it in your face. Make sure you put the cut side down and squeeze it right in here. All right. And if you guys touch it, like it's like dry. There's like hardly any juices left. So it's amazing. And you could use these for the infusion water bottle and keep infusing your water. So I'm going to save that actually. And then we need one tablespoon of soy sauce. Now, if you want to make this gluten-free, then just make sure you use the gluten-free soy sauce, okay? All right, one tablespoon with our awesome measuring spoons. These are adjustable, come in a set or two, and you can just adjust them up and down. And then you have one size for everything. And then we need half a tablespoon of honey, so let me rinse this one off and reuse it. So I'm going to turn the grill pan off because it stays hot for quite some time. So half a tablespoon of honey, and here in New York we get great local honey. So this is delicious. So this is a great recipe to see if you can get your family to eat lots of veggies. <laughs> Let's see what my kids say to this tomorrow night. All right, and then we need half a teaspoon of sesame oil. So that's when the small one comes in handy. This one goes as little as an eighth of a teaspoon, guys. Isn't that crazy? All right, so half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And you really don't miss out on the sesame oil. It's a great staple in your pantry, and it's got a very, very strong taste. All right, what else we need? And then the last thing is one garlic clove. So remember, with our garlic press, you don't have to peel it, and you'll see my oldest garlic press ever. You can kind of tell, but you don't have to peel the garlic. Fresh garlic is so good for you and so cheap to buy. See, it comes right out. You don't have to peel it. The peel just stays right in here and um, you can enhance your food awesomeness amazing with just fresh garlic or fresh ginger too um, all right so we're going to process this up in our food processor right here and maybe we have fought this internet issue that we have tonight so let me know who invited you if you haven't told me yet Look 
that. This is our sauce. So this is great for salsa, hummus, egg salad, chicken salad, and you can take the blade out and serve your food right out of here, okay? So very, very sharp, so just be careful. All right, so it's time to start cooking in our pan. So you can do, you need a big skillet for this. You need at least a 12 inch or a big, nice, deep skillet. So I decided I'm gonna use my all-purpose pot. This guy is a bad boy, all right? I love to steam my eggs in this. Um, the steamer comes out, you can buy it separate. Um, the steamer is dishwasher safe and the lid is dishwasher safe. But this is the magic pot. So much can be done. You can uh, boil some potatoes on the bottom and cook some steamed some chicken and veggies so you can do an all-pot meal. You can cook your chili on the bottom and steam some uh, cornbread on top in little prep bowls. You, I love to steam eggs. If you like hard boiled eggs, you really need to steam eggs. It's amazing. So we're gonna throw this on the stove and just put a little bit of olive oil, about one tablespoon in here, and just kind of heat that up. E-V-O-O, -O, just heating it up right here. You know what? I'll use this side so you guys can see it since the chicken is done. So I'll show you our chicken. This is our finished chicken. Yum yum chicken dinner. Alright, so we're heating up the oil. Let me see who else has joined us. Hey everyone. And All right, so now we're gonna add the bell pepper and all the veggies. So uh, we're gonna make little strips out of this. So just cut the top off and then, this is great. This is a great tool for pumpkin carbon. This is our handy dandy scoop loop. And you just go in here. Oh, let me use the other side. You just go in here and scoop everything out. And you can scoop out all the veins and get everything out. Get it nice, nice and clean, okay? And this is great for scooping out spaghetti squash, any of those things, okay? So let me clean up my cutting mat a little bit. So these are great. One, I don't think you need one. I think everyone needs two so you can scoop at the same time too. All right guys, so we're gonna do some strips. Make sure you have a great sharp knife. These, is, these are um, our forged cutlery knives. And they have a lifetime warranty. They're made out of German steel. And make sure when you're buying quality knives that it's one blade and not two separate pieces, okay? These are great host, um, host favorites, hosts, party hosts, like our host tonight, like to get the whole set of knives for 50% off. It is really the best thing to do. All right, so we're gonna throw our peppers in here. You know what else I could have used for this guy? Let me think about it, our new quick slice is perfect for this. All right, so let's throw this in our pan. So one red pepper. And then we have about, it's a little more, but you know, three cups of broccoli. Allison, you love your knife. How long have you had it? All right, and then we gotta throw our chicken in there. So I'm gonna slice it up here in a minute. And we're just gonna let that cook. So again, I prefer to really cook with my spatulas because they don't melt or anything. They don't melt or anything. You can literally let it sit in there. So, all right, so we're gonna chop up our chicken and do that and I'll actually show you guys my handy dandy salad choppers. 
Let me know if you have those. These are fabulous, fabulous, a must have for everyone. All right, so let me get this chicken. This is how us Pamper Chop consultants chop our way through every kitchen and through success with these choppy choppy salad choppers and all our fabulous chopping tools. So these are great. You just go right in the bowl and chop them up. If you have little kids, it's great for those as well um, because you can just put their spaghetti or whatever in a bowl, give it a couple of rough chops, and now they can eat with no fuzz. These are great for um, salad, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers. I mean, these are just amazing. So everyone needs a pair of those. Shaded, there is a Sentoku knife. Mm, let me see if I have it here or if it's in my show back. So this is, um, this is the seven inch Sentoku knife and this is the, uh, the seven inch big knife. So there's two of those, and they all of those come in the block, but you can buy them, you can buy them individually too, okay? All right, so I think our chicken is done. Oops, some more chicken in here. Yes, Shannon says, Randy, buy your wife a present. I agree, Shannon, or Randy, you can have your own party and hey pamper chef men um, wear the apron very well and there's some of our top sellers in this company all right so we'll add our chicken all right so any questions so far guys yay all right so i'm glad we're finally over well maybe i shouldn't shouldn't say this <laughs> finally over these issues technical difficulties all right, so we're gonna let this cook for a little bit and then we're gonna add the sweet potatoes and reduce heat to medium and cook for five or seven minutes until crisp tender, stirring occasionally. All right, so we're gonna throw these in right here. You guys can see better. So this is, these are pretty colors too. I think they look very fallish. Reduce the heat a little bit. So I'll just give you a quick peek of how this looks like. Tell me this is not pretty looking. Great, great colors. Um, so once that cooks for about five to seven minutes, we're then going to mix in the sauce. So this is our pad thai sauce. And then you can garnish it if you want. You can garnish it with some green onion slices. So we could do that. Um, you can garnish it with some cilantro or you can garnish it with some lime wedges. Okay, so these are the three things you can garnish the dish with. So while that cooks, um, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific. Um, I do have most of everything in my kitchen. So now is the time to ask your questions make sure you share this so you can um, be entered in the sharing uh, drawing as well and let me know who your host is and guys if you you know if you want to party in your pjs just like our hosts do tonight and you want to earn lots of free pamper chop huge discounts get your sh christmas shopping done for free and at a discount this is what you want to do um, so message me tonight. Your host will get credit for that as well, and you will get lots of free stuff. It's a fun way to party in your PJs. Now, if you're local to me, I recommend having a cooking party and having me come to your house live. And you know, I am a trainer and recruiter for Paper Chef, so I'm always looking to help other people, you know, earn extra income, you know, change their life for the better. Um, you know, do something fun on the side. Maybe you don't need the extra money, but maybe you just need something to get you out of the house. Or maybe you just want to come on for the holidays so you can spoil your kids with a couple of extra gifts. So I do not know your situation, but I know that everyone can benefit from a paper chef business. And I know 
Um, it has benefited me and my family a lot in the last six years, and it has been more than I could have ever dreamed of. So if you have any questions about that, if you're just a little curious and you just want to ask some questions and you just want to give this business a try, you want to you know, just ask me any questions. So um, with that being said, you the specials for the virtual parties are posted on the pin post. Remember it is help with cancer month. I wore my pink apron for that and I brought out the pink spatula for that. And um, you can order the help with cancer water bottle this month with the pink logo and $1 goes to the American Cancer Society. So it's a really fun way to support that. Tiffany, yay, hey Tiffany, aren't you, you should be coming to freezer mail, right? Thought you were interested in that. You gotta talk. Um, all right, so let's check on our veggies right here. Oops. All right, so everything seems to be cooking down. So I will let this sit for a couple more minutes. Whoops, I'll show you. Um, a picture and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the sauce and then put this in my fridge for tomorrow so my family can eat this um, so fun recipe I hope you enjoyed it um, again the last thing I'm gonna do is just pour the sauce on it I am here if you have any questions and make sure you join me every Tuesday night for a live cooking demo and again I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties um, I'm not sure what's going on up here in the North Country. So I hope you enjoyed it. Tag your friends that want to eat more veggies, that like to eat clean and healthy and want maybe need a new fun recipe to add to their meal prep. This is a great meal prep recipe too. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just comment below. And remember, in a couple days, I'll do the drawing for everyone that shared this video. All right, guys, have a good one.